I'm not gonna bring up your name. I'm trying your name. about a motherfucker send me a screenshot. Or, or ask, your best friend said my name in a comment or some shit. When you see was like Kayla for the last few months, that's that's it. That's the last time I I ever spoke on you. So my life. It's just so funny that you got people watching me like y'all dead ass just sitting here like on my page. Y'all dead ass just sitting here. Like y'all, you dead ass got folks watching me. That's so funny. Like, like you don't got no more other tragic exes. Like this shit only lasted a couple months. Like, you're watching me. You just told me like you got folks watching me. Like what the fuck? Like the fact that y'all literally dead ass. Oh my god. Like the fact that y'all literally dead ass. Like you said what? I have nobody watching, bro. You said what? Lose my number. For sure. Like, I'm just gonna say for sure, but still have it months later. Like, we broke up in September and you're still blowing my phone up. Like, Yes. Mommy, so what was the person saying? You keep playing, calling me from an um, unknown number, no color ID. First I thought it was like Caucasian. They was like, no, your daughter, Kiara. And what they, and like, what was they saying? They just kept hanging up. It was like, I'm like, is she okay? They was like, no, she's not okay. And hung up. If this is no color ID, just ignore it. It's just this crazy... This 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 crazy person obsessed with me, bro. So how they got your number? My number. I don't know. I dead don't know. And how do they know my name? My my. I don't know. I I I can't tell you. Like they and then they call my phone, so I'm answering it, and then they're they're telling me information about sisters in charge and all this extra stuff. I'm like, why? Are you? I was like, why are you this obsessed with me? Like, that's weird. Like, I'm like, did you read my mom's book? Like, they're talking about your multiple sclerosis, then you coming in Haiti at seven. I'm like, did you read her book or something? Like, why do you know this? So this is somebody you know? Somebody I used to deal with. Um, they're crazy now. They're crazy. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, all right. He's, he, and then the funny thing about it is he hasn't even heard my diss track, so... Cause he made a song, like I told y'all, he made a song about me. He claims that he did it. He made the song because I made a public interview about the craziest lies my ex ever told me. And even though I didn't say his name, my best friend commented under it, his name or whatever. And I didn't delete it till like a day later. I got he some- knows what I drive. Wait, he said what? He knows where I live. He knows where you, like what kind of car I drive. Darren Drive, where we live. This man is crazy. And now you got somebody, you started something, you got somebody shot, up, shot or died, whatever. There's no way this man lying like that. Yeah, he's weird. I'm about to get a... Okay, well, you need to file a police report and get a restraining order because I'm not going to sit there and go into this. All right. And that needs to be happening ASAP because this, that, this, whoever it is sounds like they're crazy. All right. And they're telling me, oh, I need to be careful. And that's a threat. He's trying to lie to my mom saying, I got somebody shot and killed. Who are you? Yes. I'm like, why am I not in jail yet? <laughs> Little old me. You see the pictures these people oh paint of me? <laughs> Little old me is a murderer. She's about to go. She's about to go. <laughs> she told me to get a restraining order. I told you that too. I honestly don't think he's gonna do something, bro. I don't think so either, but he, he's getting crazy. He is. He's weird. I'm like, yo, nobody knows who the fuck you are. You're not a celebrity. You're this worried about a post that nobody, ha a majority of those people who watch that has nothing, don't even know, don't you. Even know you. 
I was like, you're making it known that it's about you. You're making it worse for yourself, tagging me and stuff and get it and telling me, uh, tagging me and stuff, talking about, stop speaking on me. I'm not your ex, all this extra shit. Now they're clicking on my account, looking at the video that I just made about you being a fraud and, not, and lying about all this extra stuff. That's you, because I didn't tag you. I didn't say your name, no nothing. Now everybody know because you're making posts about me. So all your followers are on my page looking. And let me brush my teeth, y'all, because I, I just told you, I woke up off the dome with it, like, with this situation. Like, I didn't even get to brush my teeth yet. Like, this man dead ass involved my mama. Now I'm about to call his mama. Like, nigga, you're weird. Uh, this man hasn't even met my mama, you, and you're doing all this. That's why my mom's so confused. She's like, who is this? My ex from hell. I was in a relationship for three and a half months. How that call happened? I was woken up out my sleep. My mom had called me, blowing up my phone. She's like, Kiara, what's wrong with you? I'm like, what do you mean? Like, she's like, what do, where are you? I'm like, I'm at home, I'm asleep. Like, she knows I work night shifts, so like, I'm asleep during the day. Um, mind y'all, I'm sorry, don't mind my nails. So know, these hoes need to get taken off. So the person that the claim, the name was, is Jordan. Now that's not my ex's name, but I know for a fact, I can't say exactly that was him on the phone with her, but I know he has something to do with it. After I got off the phone with my mom, I started receiving calls. So I, I didn't answer at first. So that's when I grabbed my camera. I was like, you know what? Like, look, I'm about to record this conversation. Like, this man be having me out here look, making it seem like I'm crazy or whatever. And I'm so obsessed with him. And I'll be speaking, no, like, you're blowing up my phone. Like, you don't know how to leave me alone is giving change my number and get a restraining order. So he starts calling me and that's when you guys kind of hear the clips. But before that, I'm gonna just um, give y'all a rundown on what he was telling me, the clip that got deleted. But basically he was calling me, telling me that his friend named Jordan, which I don't even know this person, I've never heard of this person. So it must be someone new that he picked up to be one of his little minions or something. So this person named Jordan was able to find so much information on my family. They found my mom's name. They found my mom's businesses. Um, he even found my dad's name and stuff like that. But I'm just like, well, that's really public information. My mom, she's a domestic violence survivor. Um, she also has multiple sclerosis and she was born in Haiti and moved here when she was seven. So he knew information like that. And I'm just like, okay, my mom's an author. She writes books. Did you read her book? Like she made a memoir and all that information is literally on in the book. So I'm just like, you could have found that off her book. So I'm just like, okay, like, what are you like getting at? You're finding this information for what? So he goes on to say like, oh, he hasn't been speaking on me and all this extra stuff. And I'm like, no, you've been watching me. And I have proof, I'm gonna show proof. To me, he's been watching me from a fake page. And I noticed him from that fake page because it confirmed it when we was on a group call and he was talking to this girl and he didn't know we was all like we could hear him. And he's going to bring up, oh, Kiki just text, texted me. But mind you, I texted that Instagram, like the fake Instagram page. He's been watching me ever since. Yeah, so I'm just like, so like you got people watching me. He's like, I don't got people watching you, all this extra stuff. Like they watching you, like they got their own agenda. What do you mean they got their own agenda? They don't know me. Why is someone having a, their own agenda and they don't know me? The whole relationship, I was being mentally abused. Not gonna lie. It did get physical, like one or two altercations. But what, like, what really led up to still to this day on why I'm still like hearing from this man is because one night, a week or two after we broke up, we ended up at the same party. So I'm at the party. He walks in and we make eye contact. I look away, he walks into the bathroom that I'm at with my guy friends in and tries to speak to everybody. Everybody's quiet, so he walks back out. So I'm like, okay, hey, cool, like, maybe we could keep it cordial. We won't have to speak to each other. We will act like we both don't exist. I walk out the house because I'm looking around the house and all I see is liquor. No water, no juice, no nothing. So I'm like, okay, cool, I have a drink in my car. I really didn't feel like having to ask somebody to come with me to go grab my drink that's down the stairs. So I walk outside by myself and that's when I see him out there. So I'm like, 
let me just act like I'm still acting like this man don't exist. So I walk straight ahead. I'm walking down the stairs. I start hearing somebody following me. So I stop in my tracks and I turn around going back up the stairs. This man is holding me hostage on the stairs, treating me like I'm his op. Like, what's good? Like, so what's up? Like, so what's up? Like, you been doing all this talking and, and going around running your mouth in, and, and we can't be having that. Like, can't be having that. Like, you moving real flaw right now. You moving real flaw. And all this extra stuff. I'm like, yo, like, move out my way. Like, what are you doing? And so there's people st still on the stairs. I mean, not really not on the stairs, but by the door. So I'm asking for their help. I'm like, yo, like, can y'all tell this man, like, leave me alone? And people just acting like they couldn't hear me, like. And I didn't even know those people. It was just, like, the fact that, like, I'm in an uncomfortable situation right now. And I seen some niggas over there. They could have really did something. So when I realized, like, nobody was helping me, I went back downstairs to get away. And as I'm walking back down the stairs, that's when he tries to push me down the stairs. I caught my fall and I'm still walking down the stairs and he's following me. So at this point, I call my guy friend, I'm gonna call him Kyle. I call my guy friend Kyle. And Kyle and I didn't even tell y'all my ex name, but I'm gonna say Creeper. We're gonna call him Creeper. So Kyle and Creeper already had their own like tension and own little situation because Creeper has been on social media and in different group chats talking about F Kyle and when they when he see Kyle it's gonna be a genocide and stuff. So you would think that's his opera they got beef for real. Like, okay, cool. Like so I call um Kyle, I'm like, yo, like this man just like try to push me down the stairs. This man is following me and all this extra stuff. So like Kyle's on the phone like hearing him talk and Creeper is still making threats, like talking about, oh, somebody in the cut, like he making calls like, oh yeah, Kiki right here, like she on the phone with Kyle, all this extra stuff, like making it seem like I, I'm a, like I'm setting this man up or something, the whole time you following me. Then another person gets involved. We call them Toons. We don't call them Toons. Toons and Creeper were in the same set or whatever. Creeper would like involve Toons without his knowledge into his own beef and make it seem like Toons is his crash out and Toons will literally like do whatever Creeper says like hey you want this person gone oh yeah like they gone like like he was a little man or some stuff me Kyle and Toons all talked and figured out all Creeper's lies so they're both on the phone hearing the stuff that he's saying and they're like yo like this man is really crazy like I wasn't out here lying. Like, Toons is like, yo, like, I'm about to be on the way. Like, he putting your hands on, he putting his hands on you and, like, keep speaking out the mouth. Like, yo, this not, been, like, this not okay. Like, it's not okay. So it took about an hour for Toons to get here. It took about an hour because we was in Conyers and Toons was in, on the south side. of. So an hour, so throughout the party, this man, Creeper, is following me, following me. Um, with his hand in his backpack, making it seem like he has a gun. But the whole time, do he know, like, I figured out, this man don't even got a gun. Like, I had questions about it. I'm like, yo, this man don't even got a gun. Like, this man keeps making threats and stuff without a gun. They finally pull up. This man, Creeper, acts like he's looking for somebody when they're pulling up. Like, yo, where's this man in the green? Where's this man in the green? I'm like, yo, you're corny as fuck. Like, you was not looking for nobody. Like, like you got beef with somebody. So he disappears and goes to the store for like 35 minutes to an hour. I left by then, but now I'm on a three-way call when he comes back. Now I'm gonna insert some clips of the conversation. In this conversation, it's Toons and Creeper talking. Creeper and Kyle need to run the fade. They need to run the fade because Creeper keeps speaking on Kyle. So Kyle like, yo, like we can run the fade. Then you putting your hands on females like, Run the fade with me, like you making it seem like you got all this beef with me. Run the fade. So Creeper goes, I'm not running the fade with this man. This man a professional boxer. Like I'm like, yo. So you really could put your hands on a female, but you can't fight a man, a man your size. You was talking all big and bad on social media. So Tunes was like, if you don't want to hit with. Kyle, you could hit with me, and I'm not even a fighter. That's what, you know, and not that. Toons was way shorter than Creeper, so you would think that, you know, have a little advantage or you, you know? He said, nah, he not doing that either. I'm like, yo, like. Come on, man. Hey, man, ain't no fighting on no face, right? I don't give a fuck if a nigga professional. I don't give a fuck if he's amateur. You know, we hit. Hey, man, I'm not fighting on no face. 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 Hey, man, I'm
And like I just said, bro, if you gotta follow that shit, you can play with me. What? You gotta stop playing, bro. Like, you can play with that man. Like, now, bro. Like, 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 yeah. Cause he wanna put his hands on How you wanna put your hands on female But you don't wanna fit, fight a nigga like what Man I'm walking away Man I'm walking away Come on, I'm not finna fight him Man come on man You got to fight that man You got to fight yeah. that man You easily was okay with fighting me In my salon You could put your hands on me To the point where I had to fight you I had to fight you But you can't fight a dude Boom Now the clip you're about to see went viral This man was literally ducking three fades at this point three fades because then a third person came and we're gonna call this person quarter he had no idea what was going on but all he seen he started to peep was creeper hiding in the back seat and stuff so people started looking for him and he's like yo i just seen this man hiding in somebody back seat like so they all go up there and like that's when they're like telling him to get out the car and this man is dead ass holding both handles he was holding both handles to the door Hold on to it, they're they right, they're reaper right Come on, they're reaper right This reaper though, fuck Man, come on, hoe ass boy, hold it boy Hold it boy, come on man, stop playing Hold it boy, you a bitch boy This reaper, reaper a hoe boy Duh, that hoe ass boy Yo, boy running from a fade, that boy a bitch Y'all ain't anybody that nigga a hoe boy that is so sad. After the night, that man did not, that, this is when everything to, up to now is what's transpiring. So he disabled his accounts for about a couple weeks, came back and was just trying to like, kept calling my phone and stuff like that. And I'm like, yo, I really did go through a learning lesson, a life, a learning lesson within them three and a half months. And I also went through some trauma within them three and a half months. Like, that was a really bad relationship, and I would never allow myself to go through a relationship like that again. I started making this series. Now I'm a, instead of clipping my reels, and I started asking um, people questions on um, what's the craziest lie your ex ever told you. I'm get telling them experiences that my ex also lied to me about. This is where him watching my page or having people watch my page comes into play. He clearly sees the video or whatever, but I honestly, before this song even drops i believe that he already had the song prepared because it's just like no way you see it one day then the next day a song drops on all platforms i don't really think it works like that like i think it takes a couple days but i don't know he sees the um video whatever and the next day like he's calling my phone and stuff and i'm ignoring it so then later on that night i get a text with a song sent to me so i started kind of hit listening to the song and i'm like yo this man put a whole song with my voice recordings on it he sent it from an unknown number at that yo this man is corny and weird then the next day like he i'm still getting calls i'm still ignoring it and he drops the song at midnight he drops the song the next day at midnight i got it sent like by two people i didn't listen to the full song still to this day but like some of the stuff that i did hear i'm just like yo this man has me out here looking like I'm obsessed with this man. The whole time I'm like, yo, show your messages back. Show the times that you pulled up on me when I was trying to be done with you. Show the times when you was on your knees begging. Show the times like you gave me a whole promise ring. I was really love bombed in that relationship. Like I really just thought I had someone that like, I was kind of obsessed with me in a way like, but in a positive way, like on some like my girl, my girl, my girl. And no, it wasn't like that. I felt like this man really wanted a competition with me. Like he would say certain words like, I've been turned before you. Um, I've been lit. Um, I don't need you for like, I don't need you for this. Like he'll bring up like my car, make it seem like, oh, I, I feel so entitled with my car and all this extra stuff. But like whole time, I didn't even say nothing about my car. He would just bring it up because I said, no, I don't want to take him this place. Like, And even um, when it came to like the friend group we had together in the group chat, like he was like feed me lies about what people were saying about me whole time. I done found out that half that stuff being said wasn't even true. He was just telling me those stuff so he could turn me against them people. But I brought him around those people and I really thought we was all cool and stuff. So when I was hearing that stuff that he was saying, the timing he was saying it was like really spot on because it would like make you question like, yo, like that person is kind of moving funny, huh? Like the whole time it's just my thoughts eating me up a lot because of what he was feeding me. And I'm like, I would think that, you know, someone who I call my boyfriend has my best interests at heart. 
But y'all, your boyfriends can lie to you too. Your significant other can lie to you too. They can manipulate you too. Throughout the whole relationship, there was multiple lies this man was telling me. Some of the lies that I was told was he was from Chicago. This man is born in East Point, Georgia. It's just the smallest lies that like, you wouldn't think that someone would need to lie about. You feel me? He made good music, like he was showing me like good music that he claimed was his. Whole time, I found out that was another man's music. Then at that, I found out that was someone he calls his ops music. But another thing he told me, he was a scammer. He made money. It's not after normal for someone in Atlanta to say that they're a scammer. But there's no way you've only hit like two banks well, since we've been together. Three and a half months and you've only hit two banks. You're not a scammer. You're the middleman, and you can't even pick a place for real. And a very weird lie was that he fucked my friend. But look, now before y'all be like, whoa, you really went for that? He told me they fucked before I even met this man. And I wasn't, I, she, me and her just became friends literally the beginning of that, of this year too. So I wasn't even tripping on that. And I never really came to her about it because I'm like, yo, like she are like, I can't even be mad because she, I wasn't even showing his face for real. So it's not like she could be like, oh my gosh, like put me on game and stuff. But regardless, whole time, this man didn't even know her. They don't know each other. It's just weird lies like that. I was like being very manipulated. He was a narcissist and just a hater. Like he had his own insecurities that he needs to figure out. And he was reflecting that back on me. Throughout that relationship, I was just so aggressive and I'm not even like, okay, people can have their attitudes or whatever, but I'm not a, a, like a real aggressive person unless you take it there with me. So like the fact that I was so aggressive and just like, I just looked so mean all the time when I was with him, it just shows that I was not happy. Like I was just so stressed. I was so like snappy. And once I dropped him, literally like weight was lifted off my shoulders. I, I felt so happy again. I felt so motivated again. I felt like I could finally get stuff done. I was just realizing like my life really went downhill while I was with him. Why is this man so crazy about me? Like, why are you so crazy and you cheated on me? He tried to paint me to his little followers or to his people that I'm this crazy obsession girl. But it's not that. It's not that. I have the proof, y'all see. I still get calls to this day. I really want the calls to stop. It's about, it's giving restraining order. The fact that you're looking up my mom's information like it's ever that deep is weird to me. Message to my ex. Heal because your life will never be great. I told you in the beginning, I tell everybody who I meet and get, starts to get close to me. Anybody who's ever did me wrong ain't never ended up in a better situation. And I don't say that just for no reason. I say that because it's the truth. It's facts at this point. Anybody who's ever did me wrong ain't never ended up in a better situation. I am destined for greatness. And that's why a lot of I have to still watch out for who I let in, in my life because people who I let in my life can really make or break me. And you were a make or break moment, but I didn't let you break me. Actually, I let you make me stronger. I let this situation make me stronger and I'm winning. I hope you have fun with your little song or whatever. I hope you listen to my song because I ain't gonna lie. We could go song for song and I think I snapped, but hey. I have nothing much to say to you. I just want you to leave me and my family alone. I'ma let God do his work. I'ma let faith do his work. I'ma let karma do his work. I'ma let my ancestors do his work and he will be dealt with.